Looking for basic radio which has a built-in alarm clock? Tech Baffle. Discover cool stuff. Hello and welcome to Tech Baffle. James at Affair. This is the Intempo FM radio. So it features FM radio, alarm clock, calendar display and temperature display. So this combines a digital clock with an FM radio. So it's really cool that it has a built-in calendar and temperature as well. So this sticker suggests that I bought it for £6. I actually bought it for only £3 in the B&M sale. On the back, clear sound, FM radio functions, and then the same features as before. So the speaker output is 0.5 watts, so it's not gonna be massively loud, but should be okay for basic use. Alarm function, a calendar display, a temperature display, and it runs on two AAA batteries. Let's have a look. So first up, we have the instruction manual, which is like a roadmap layout. One thing that's nice is it actually has quite a decent font size. It's not too small. Hopefully we won't need too much instructions. We'll find out. And here is the radio itself. Just pop it out like so. Now I love the design of this. It looks really cool. It's got like a gray exterior right here. And then on the front, it's white. <laughs> it's actually incredibly light, but we haven't put any batteries in yet. So let's go ahead and do that. treating it to some Kodak outline. It's beeping. Ah. Hopefully you can see the display. It's not backlit, so do bear that in mind. And I don't think there's any backlight function. So as you can see, it just says naught, naught, naught. So to set the date and time, what you have to do is hold down mode. And when you do that, the year starts flashing. So let's go ahead and switch this to 2022. Then just press mode again. You've got the month, which is three for March. And the date, which is 20th. Hooray. And as you can see, it is indeed Sunday. So just press mode and it goes to the time, which is 22.38. So it would be better to go down because it's PM. You can hold it down. There we go. Oh, it's on 39. And there we go. We're all set. It's got the time at the top, the date, the day at the bottom left, and last but not least, the temperature. Now, you can choose between Celsius and Fahrenheit. So all you have to do is press down and then it will change from one to the other. You can also choose between 12 and 24 hours. So you just press up and it goes to the AM PM function and then back to 24 hour. So if you want to set the alarm to listen to the radio, you have to hold down the radio button. Um, it will then start playing the radio. If you press up, so it will automatically go to the next scannable station. Turn this down a bit. So even zero has a bit of volume to it. Um, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, if you do press volume down after it's on zero, it goes back to maximum volume. So that's that's fun. If you want to manually set the radio station, if you don't want to use the automatic scanning function, just hold down up, and then it would go into SEN mode, which I guess means scan. So you just then press up and then it'll go up by 0.1 megahertz. So then you can fine tune it if it doesn't quite get it right. It's worth noting this is FM only. So you, if you like your AM or long wave, short wave stations, you're out of luck. It's FM only, I'm afraid. It's also not DAB, but it says that on the box. One thing to note is that if there's any signal issues, it's because of my lighting. And also I don't have the built-in antenna. If I move it somewhere away from the lights, it has a better signal. You can't rotate the antenna, it just is straight up. It looks nicer. And yeah, you can just have it partially down if you want to. It's just a telescopic aerial. So I will give you a sound test in a moment to demonstrate what the radio actually sounds like. From first impressions, it sounds kind of how I'd expect it to sound. It's only a 0.5 watt speaker. It's not going to demonstrate the best sound quality, but to be honest, it doesn't sound too bad. You don't want to be playing it at maximum volume though. It just sounds a bit distorted. So to set the alarm, you just press mode then hold down mode again. So the number flashes, so you can set the hours. Then press mode again to set the minutes. And then finally press mode and then up to set the alarm. 10.58 now, let's go to set the alarm for 10.59. It's time to wake up. Ah. So what do you press to, there's no snooze button. Um, just press any button I guess. So we've set the alarm and you can also set the radio so that you can wake up to your favorite radio station. What you need to do first though is hold down radio. 
and then find the station that you want to save and hold down mode. The station will then flash three times. Then hold down radio to exit the radio. So you've now set that as your favorite station. It will then use that for the alarm clock. Press mode and then press mode again and now it will say RDO for radio. As you can see, 96.9 .9 has now been set as our favorite radio station to wake up to. Let's set the time for this. So you set it exactly the same as you would with the alarm clock. So let's set the radio alarm to 10.57. So hopefully at 10.57, we should hear the radio. As you can see, the radio has now woken us up. It's only using volume one, which is a bit quiet. So I'm guessing it might use the same volume that you used when using the radio. Then hold down radio to then turn your radio alarm off. Okay, so if I go back into radio again, yeah, it did use the volume level I used last time. So if you want it a bit louder, then set the alarm volume up like so. And there we have it. We've demonstrated both the alarm functions. Now, finally, if you press mode again, after the radio function, it comes up with sleep. So if you want to listen to the radio to set yourself to go to sleep, then you can actually set a sleep timer, meaning that it will automatically turn off on its own. Now for the sound test. I'm using my binaural ears to give you the best recording. So that was the B side. Thank you, German Potter's Bar for suggesting it. Uh, does it sound like the A side? But it's not, you know, no, it doesn't actually. Having played that, I'd no clue that this was the A-side. The A-side, really, really big hit. You'll know it straight away. Food, fitness and pharmacies. The Harper Centre really has got something for everyone. For independence and big brands, or just a great cup of coffee. Whatever you've got in mind, we've got inside. Listen Tempo FM Radio is a nicely designed budget radio. It scans stations well, making it easy to use. The LCD display is great, showing time, date, temperature and radio frequency. The controls, however, are a bit awkward and the sound quality is quite hollow. Overall, this Intempo FM radio gets a tech baffle rating of 3 out of 5. This product is discontinued in B&M, but available on eBay. Check the tech baffle links in the description. If you've enjoyed this video, smash that like button if you want any more of this sort of thing. Don't forget to subscribe and ding so you don't miss a thing. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Follow me at Tech Baffle. For latest, head over to techbaffle.com. Thanks for watching and have a baffling day. Mm -hmm.